Welcome to Banlacar House Conceal, uh, our 40 acre exclusive use private estate. My name is Des McGahan and this is my wife Lisa. In these challenging times, obviously market forces dictate a totally new direction on weddings and events. And that's why we feel uh, that we're well placed to offer something new and a new direction. Uh, I think weddings are gonna be a lot smaller. Uh, it's gonna be all uh, a more interest in exclusive use. Uh, the fact that everything is more customized and private Secluded is very important, but not too isolated. And nice open air grounds to be able to enjoy the fresh air and in the comfort and safety of this estate. We would like to tell you a bit more about the property, give you a look around, and then a bit later on, I'll be able to tell you a few more things that we're thinking about doing. Hi, welcome to Balancara House in Sale. The house was actually built in 1770 and fully renovated to international standards in the early 2000s. So I'd like to take this opportunity to show you through the property and explain how you could use different rooms for your event. So first of all, we're going to go into the green room. So we use a combination of the green room, the dining room and the library for breakfast for our residents. We do a cold buffet selection on the hunt table and then we take an order for the hot breakfast so that's cooked to order by the chefs. You'll see that there's no little tables of twos, that's not what we're about. We're all about groups of people getting together, family and friends, sharing together, sharing a meal, sitting in large tables and getting to know each other. So we've now just walked from the main breakfast area down the hallway and we're in the West Wing. The West Wing, funny enough, has an Eastern influence. This originally was the garages and the stables. So the four small little windows and the big open doors are just the original building as it was. In this wing on the ground floor, we have two bedrooms, which is the Kashmir room and the India room. The Kashmir room is also wheelchair compliant. So we have the support bars, we've lowered the uh, light switches, so it could be used for uh, somebody in a wheelchair or it could be used for an elderly grandparent or relative who doesn't like a lot of steps. The benefit of these two rooms is that they're also interconnecting. So the room next door is the India room which is one of our large quad family bedrooms that has a double bed and also two single beds. Great for a family, two adults, two children, or if you're here for a wedding, even if you have three or four single girls that are happy enough to share for a couple of nights, they'll have great fun. So with these two rooms being in interconnecting, you have the option. You could have two bedrooms with two en suites, totally separate, or you can open the interconnecting door and have a large suite that could sleep potentially up to six people. The house actually has four different staircases. So this staircase takes you up to another three bedrooms. Now we have the barley room. This room is at the end of the wing. So it has beautiful views over the gardens and the rolling countryside. This room could be used as a double. All the beds could be split and you could use them as two single beds. So next we have the Thai bedroom. This could be used as a double or two single beds. Now we have China room. This room has a double bed, but it also has a single bed with another pull-out mattress underneath. Once again, it could also be used for a couple, it could be used for two single people, or likewise for a family of two adults and two children. Down this hallway we have a multi-purpose space to cool our treatment room. It's popular for the ladies to get their hair and makeup done, or you can use it as a kids lounge because there's a TV and a DVD player in here. So we now finished the West Wing and we're back into the breakfast room area. So this is the second staircase. Up this staircase is one bedroom, which is the Japanese room. So that's the west wing done. And now you're heading back towards the front door. So this is the third staircase, which is in the center wing. So follow me up and I'll show you two more bedrooms. So now we're in the center wing and there's two bedrooms up here. The first room is the Georgian room. These two bedrooms were actually used by the family from the 1700s who lived in the property. So these are much more traditional in style and design 
and they also have the Georgian windows. So the second bedroom up in the center wing is the Irish country room. Usually at this stage, people are quite amused by our sleeping deck that we've built for children. It's a mattress and duvets up there, but the kids love it. And we've lined it up so they can watch TV from bed. So the other side of the front door is the red room. And this really is the heart of the house. The Red Room is also very popular late at night. If the music's a little loud down below, a lot of people will come up here, sit, have a chat, and have a cup of tea. It's actually nice to have a break away sometimes. You'll also notice that in our bedrooms, we don't do tea and coffee making facilities. That's just not great quality. So we encourage everybody to come down to the Red Room. It's the main living room. The staff are always on hand, and they'll make you a nice fresh pot of tea or a nice hot cappuccino. So this is the last staircase. This accesses the north wing and the east wing. So follow me and I'll show you a few more rooms. So the first room down this corridor is the French room. But a word of warning, these rooms are above the bar. So we all have those friends who are the last ones staying up at night, making all the noise. So you put them in these rooms because the trade-off is that these are the quiet rooms in the morning because breakfast is on the other side of the house. So this is the Italian room. It's the second room down the hallway and also above the bar. You see that it's in two parts where we have a double bed and a single bed. So it could have comfortably have two single people or three people in this room. So the last bedroom in this wing is the Tudor room. This room really has the wow factor. You can see everybody who's coming up the driveway, down the long lawn to the pond at the bottom and right the way across to the children's playground and the fields beyond. So the last wing is now the north wing. Another three bedrooms. And the first one we're going to go into is the African room. The Africa room is made up of a double bed, but that could also be split into two singles. And you also have the antique iron single bed as well. So you could have a couple in this room or with the beds being split, you could have three single people comfortably in here. So you're now in the Australian room. This is another one of the big quad rooms. And as I said before, we've got about four rooms this sort of size that could sleep two adults and two children. This room is probably the biggest in the whole property. And they have a huge deck to themselves, huge bathroom, huge bedroom, a little bit like Australia. So the last room in this wing is Morocco. Once again, it can be a double or a twin. and has a small balcony, which is nice if you want to get a bit of fresh air. And it also has a tent. So as you've seen, the house up until this point is very much like any home. We have dining rooms, living rooms, and lots of bedrooms. But once you turn that corner and go down those steps, this is where the entertainment wing starts and this is where the fun begins. So the first bar is our champagne bubbly bar. We've teamed up with Vertico and we just think it's a great champagne. And we have all of their tables, their high tables, their low tables, their stools, their chairs, their very cool glassware and ice buckets. So you can do the indoor version, which is here in the champagne bubbly bar, or we can set it up outside in the Vertico champagne garden. The choice is yours. So straight from the bubbly bar, you're now into the main bar. We took a bit of inspiration, the fact that this bar is quite long and narrow, but doors and windows on both sides. So we took the inspiration from the Orient Express. So a little fusion of French, deco, and Asian influences. The beauty of the main bar is that it's your bar. We never allow anybody else in the property. There's no strangers are gonna come in um, joining your group. So how you want this bar to operate is entirely up to you. Here's the ballroom. So the ballroom, as it's laid out at the moment, could be for a family dining, a corporate group, or if you're here for a wedding, for your family dinner in the night before the wedding. It could seat 32 people at one large table, or you could do individual tables for up to 50 people. 
This room can be turned into anything you want it to be, whether it's formal dining or civil ceremonies, as you've seen. But the other option is to create a fun, casual space for your recovery day, or if it's a private group and you want to do something fun and different. The ballroom and the garden room are interconnected. The garden room is a rebuild of the old greenhouse that was on the property. We don't have any curtains because we don't have any neighbours. As it's laid out at the moment, we can seat up to 104 people at round tables, or we also have rectangular tables where we can seat up to 132 people. The benefit of the two rooms being side by side is that for the larger bookings or for weddings, everybody could stay seated in the garden room, but you could use the ballroom for your dance floor. So the style of the garden room is very much along the lines of a conservatory. The three doors to the front all open up to the front of the house where you have your terrace, where you can have drinks reception and also overlooking the croquet lawn. The side door also opens up down onto our shed. Well, it's a bit more than a shed. It's actually our Cuban cocktail bar. So our Cuban cocktail bar might be the smallest room in the whole property, but when it's open, it's the most popular. We find that for the small family groups, they love it because it's an intimate space, and for the weddings, they also love it because it gives them another alternative option. And out these doors, it goes into our outdoor covered lounge. This is a very, very popular area, whether it's summer or winter. You can always get outside, you can be undercover or not, and we have heaters and also a box of blankets if it's a little chilly. This area is also our outdoor kitchen. It's very popular because we can do barbecues out here no matter what time of the year. We also have our Italian pizza oven where we can do homemade pizzas, whether it's for dinner or whether it's for supper. And we also have a small outdoor bar as well. So as you can see, the four areas, it's a very large area between the bar, the ballroom, the garden room, and the outdoor covered lounge. And it goes in a circle because what we try to encourage people is that the whole property is theirs, the whole house is theirs. There's nobody else allowed on the property and that they keep moving around. They're not restricted to one area and they can go from room to room and keep moving and it adds to the atmosphere. If you read any of our reviews, there's a consistency in that everybody raves about our food and our staff. We can guarantee this in a number of different ways, both by buying local, cook to order, and also all the food is brought in just for your event. And the only way to guarantee quality is by having consistency in also the staff. We have a full-time team of dedicated chefs but led by award-winning head chef, David Rice. He has created an exciting blend of formal and informal menus for you to choose from. And if that's not enough, you can also learn from the master himself. We have our on-site cookery school, the Kinsey Gourmet Academy, that you could arrange for a group lesson before your wedding, or perhaps for your recovery day, for a corporate group who want to do a team building activity, or for a family group who just want to have a fun activity together. We have about three acres of lawns where we set up rules and croquet so anybody could play whenever they want. Part of these lawns is also the children's playground where there's seating as well so adults can keep an eye on what their children are doing. And we have a tree house which is great fun. Down the long lawn at the bottom is our pond. It's another popular location for a civil ceremony. And then beyond the pond is where the pathways start as they lead through the forest with bridges and swings, pagodas and more. And we also have our own jetty. We have about six kayaks that you can grab one and go paddling up the Balnacara Creek, or you can just go swimming at any time. From there, you can cross the creek and there is a jogging or walking path that takes you to the end of the property and brings you out onto the Bandon River. The cottage is a full 1800 square foot house. So it has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, but the benefit is it has a large open plan living room of kitchen, dining room, and living room space. It has its own parking area and its own garden. Perfect for a group of family or friends that know each other because they'll make full use of the whole space that it offers. We've renovated the old original coach house, but with a twist. It's a contemporary art deco feel. There's four bedrooms, four en-suites, and each room has their own independent outside sitting space. It works better for four couples. They don't need to know each other, they don't need to see each other. They have their own spaces. 
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed walking around our exclusive use property here, Balnacara House Can Sale, and seeing what we have to offer, which is something completely different, as we said, exclusive use, and for your purposes only. And our new direction, our new emphasis is gonna be seclude in style. But seclusion is very important, and a controlled environment is very important, but you can't be too isolated. And that is one of the other key USPs or key selling points of our estate. We're in the country, in a private country home where there's a much more emphasis on that direction where people want fresh air, controlled environments, everything we've just said. But you can't be too secluded either. And of course, we have the benefit of the so-called Irish Riviera on our doorstep, which is a beautiful open environment, uh, beautiful walks, uh, beautiful bars and restaurants, uh, Michelin standard restaurants, great activities, facilities, the old head golf course, sailing, fishing, everything for you to do only three minutes down the road, but you still have this seclusion here on your doorstep. If you need more information about Balanacura House Can Sale, go on to our website www.balanacura.com and if you need some more information about how we're uh, driving this new direction and uh, weddings for the future to seclude in style, send us an email to info at Thank you.